Hey there everybody, Decaf here from WiseFlightHeadquarters.com and WiseUpload.com and today we're continuing on our Afterburner tutorial series and today I want to show you how you can preview your Afterburners without going outside of Blender. Uh, now typically if we want to look at our Afterburner, uh, the transparencies can sometimes cause some interesting things to happen, uh, especially when we click on it and then we can see inside. You know, not everything uh, always comes through properly. The colors sometimes get uh, a little bit messed up. But what we can do is use Blender's rendering features to actually take a look inside of uh, what we're building here. So first things first, we're going to need a camera. And in order to get a camera in there, it's just like any other object. We're going to have to go space, add, and then come down to camera. And it'll get plopped in right where our cursor is. And we want to position this uh, so it's off to the side a little bit. Now, you may be wondering how I can tell what's going where. Well, the rectangular face here is the actual sort of way it's viewing, and the arrow is pointing up. Very, very simple. So I'm going to rotate this around the x-axis by 90 degrees, and then we're going to bring this guy up so it's looking straight at our afterburners. Now, what we can do to check to see how that looks is press F12, and it'll generate an, an image just like this. Uh, additionally, you can hit the render button here and it'll do the same thing. Uh, in order to get to this uh, menu down here, you are still in the button window, but you just press the little picture icon there. Uh, but you notice here in this view mode and in this setup, all we see is black. We don't see any colors, but we can see that it's a little bit transparent over in there. So what we're gonna do is add in some lights. So I'm going to bring my cursor over there because I don't want it way off to the side. And we're going to add in a, a lamp. And we're just going to add in a normal lamp. And you can see right away that this has an effect in here. And as we bring it closer and closer, it's going to have some uh, interesting uh, effects on how we actually are able to view this. So I'm bringing this completely inside of the mesh. And if we double check what this looks like, we see, oh hey, that, that actually looks kind of interesting. We can see the structure going on inside. We can start to see some of the shockwave colors and things like that. So by duplicating this a couple times and moving it around, we can actually get a pretty decent idea of what our afterburner is gonna look like. Now obviously there are some uh, bright spots from where the uh, light sort of builds up on itself, but we can get sort of a first look idea about what this is actually going to uh, end up looking like in the end. So let's bring this guy down a little bit so it's perfectly centered and take another look. And there we go. So this is just a, a brief uh, look in. What we can actually do to zoom in is just move our camera in a little bit closer. And we can keep going in closer and closer or we can also go over here and start playing around with our size in the X and Y direction. So we could change the X direction to uh, 1280 and our Y to 720, to 720p view. And there we go, there is our view there. So this is just a, a quick little look at uh, some tools that are actually inside of Blender that'll help us get an idea of what this might look like in YS Flight. So I hope uh, this is a neat little thing that you can play around with a little bit, learn a little bit more about Blender and rendering things in there, and uh, just have a fun time with this. Until next time, have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to find some cool add-ons for YS Flight, head on over to ysupload.com, the official add-on hosting site for yshedquarters.com.